This time on Explore Football, we speak with Southwest Queensland Thunder signing Yoshihiro Sakurai. Um, in 2016, you, you spent most of your time playing with a university team here in Australia, but prior to that, you had played with um, some NPL clubs here in Australia. Yep. Um, how did you come to be at Southwest Queensland Thunder? Uh, the coach, which is uh, Fernando Garcia, he called me to come to Omba because he saw the, my um, past game when I was in Brisbane City yeah. and the University Queensland. Right. He was a little bit interested in me yeah. to come to the trial first. Mm. And then I joined the trial for a month. And then after a month, I, I got contract with Toowoomba. Yeah. Um, so going back to your uh, youth, how did you become interested? soccer? Um, when I was uh, five years old, yeah. I started my football career for the junior with my dad. Yeah. And I, after that, I joined to the small, really small club in Yokohama yeah. in the city. And then I just wanted to play in like J-League team for the youth. Right. So I just um, did a trial for the um, Kashiwa Leso when I was uh, nine years old mm. and then I made it and I just joined them for the three years yeah. since um, yeah three years and the facility uh, Kashiwa Leso facility always good and after the training we have a like um, buffet restaurant and uh, we have to drink milk for that one liter my family moved to the other city so pretty far to get the Kashiwa Reiso mm. uh, when I was junior high school student. So I chose to move to um, Tokyo Berdi. Yeah. It is uh, the other J-League youth team. And after that, um, I chose Niigata for the Japan Sakka College yeah. for the junior. Uh, that high school, everyone should get in the dormitory, even people live in Niigata. Mm. And there is like four or five football ground. Yeah. So we, oh, like 24 hour, we can play football wow. in that high school. So we train twice a day for the training, Monday to Friday. Yeah. At that, what, what age were you then? Um, 15 mm. to 18 for three years. So I chose to come to Australia after I graduate high school. Yeah. And I joined to university team first year, yeah. yeah. And then I had uh, um, 22 games, like full games, and I scored like three goals, something like that. And, and you were playing as a central defender. Yeah, central time. defender at the time. But when I was high school student, I was number nine. <laughs> yeah, for three, nine yeah, for three years. Yeah, for three years. After university, I just joined to Brisbane City yeah. for two years. So first year in MPL, we went to grand final and we lost against Olympic. Okay, and yeah. so from Brisbane City you went to South uh, uh, Western, Western Pride. Pride. Yeah. yeah, after that I joined to Western Pride for one year. And the coach was really nice and his name is Carl Dot. So he's on um, physio for the Brisbane Law at the moment yeah. and he's really strict and training really hard but yeah it is really good for us to achieve the goal mm. so i choose to move um bpl which is no point for the yeah. Yeah, visa player and then better facility in the university really? yeah like gym and mm. the pool and track field everything there mm. so i did like um four months for the rehab yeah. and after that i came back for the full for game. So who would you say then has been the biggest influence on your soccer career? I think my father yeah. is always um, helped me to improve my football skill, yeah. especially junior, like when I was 10 to 18 before I joined to uh, senior football because my father I always try to watch my game and then film my game yeah. and he just give me a feedback and analyze every time. So you've spent a lot of time playing with 
playing uh, soccer here in Australia, who, who would you say has been the, the best players that you've played with and against? I would say Antonio Mari. Antonio Mari. Yeah, um, he's, I think, the best. Especially first of uh, first MPL season, he got 27 goals out of 25 games. So he got golden boots. Mm. And one more is Kenny Dugo, which is, uh, he used to play in Brisbane City. But now he's playing Netherlands in Division One at the moment. Wow. So yeah, he made his yeah, football career. Would you say that there is um, there's any way that you'd improve the Japanese soccer system? I think, um, in my opinion, like training is really different between Australia and Japan, yeah. and we usually concentrate to do the individual training mm. for the put on the marker and dribble every time like one hour yeah. so like um, but in Australia there are more like space or field mm. so they can play 11-11 easier yeah. so just back to southwest Queensland that yeah. you're playing with this year um, yeah. what do you expect as a, as a result from the, the club this year do you think you're going to be a finals team can you win the competition yeah. um, I think my team has a um, chance to aim uh, top four yeah. this year because um, last year uh, Toowoomba uh, Southwest Queensland finished middle of the table and even like um, under 18 for the NPL boys they won the championship last year oh, okay. so it shows us um, we have a lot of good young players mm -hmm. and uh, a good staff and the coaches. Yeah. So you may have heard about the A-League expanding in the next two years, two year, yeah. the possibility. Do you think you'd be able to play in an A-League team? And would you travel to a place like Tasmania to yeah. play? Yeah, if I have a chance, you know, I can go to anywhere in yeah. Australia. Yeah. But yeah, um, first I have to do, um, I have to show more uh, my football in the NPL. And yeah, yeah, I want to play in A League. Is the club putting a, a little extra focus on the FFA Cup this year? Yeah, it is. Uh, because um, FFA Cup is uh, the other competition for the um, regular season, yeah. but it is also like showing the club and then promote club yeah. and pro promote the city, I think, as well. So everyone wants to join the last 32 for the FFA Cup. So, so yeah, this year, maybe especially this year, yeah. FFA Cup also really important for the Tomba. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you so much.